Son of man is come to save that which is lost. So I am to pray for the lost. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for another day's journey. Thank you. Thank you for watching over us all night last night. As we slumbered and as we slept. Thank you for looking beyond our faults and seeing our leads. And early this morning, you shook us and woke us up. Allowed our homes to roll on just a little while longer. Tell the dying world or to tell the lost what they must do to be saved. The lost, those who don't know you in the pardon of their sin. The lost, those who have not accepted you into their lives to be their Lord and to save yes, Lord. The lost, those who have tried to find other ways uh, to live life without you. Yes, the lost, those who don't realize that they need you. The loss, we can find the loss in our home, in our families, yes, our sons and daughters, husbands and wives, aunts and uncles. We can find the loss on our job as we go to work every day. Or we can find the loss in the neighborhoods where we live and where we reside. As we walk up and down the street, we pass by the loss. 
Yes, Lord. So, Lord, give us the strength that we need as adopted sons and daughters in this Christian family yes, to be able to share with the Lord, yes, to ask them, do they have you in their lives? Yes, and to be able to share in a very friendly and comfortable way yes, how they can come to know you. Yes, to share with them, to invite them to come to church yes, yes. and to listen to your word so that the word might go forth in their hearts yes, and bring them closer to you where they might come find what must I do to be saved. Yes, the laws who are watching us who are Christians and reading us like a book and if we are not being good examples for them then the laws have no reason to want to come and and serve you. But let us be good examples for the law. Let us not do what we want to do as Christians, but let us be disciplined Christian folks. That are good examples in front of the law. The good thing is, we don't know who the law is. We can pass by them and really don't know that they're lost. We can pass by them and don't even know if they saved. So we, we cannot be prejudiced. We cannot be discriminatory. We must ask and talk to anyone that we pass by. Yeah. Tell them about the goodness of the Lord and what he has done yeah. for us. And that they need to, like we have done, invite them into their life to be the Lord and Savior. Yeah. The laws. The laws are looking for us. But we, if we don't go out to where they are, We won't find them. But Lord, Lord, not only is the loss in our homes, in our families, on our jobs, in our neighborhoods, walking up and down the street, but the loss is in the church growing with us. The devil has sent them here to make trouble in the church. So we must be good examples for them when they come yeah. for the sole purpose of destroying the relationship in the church. Yeah. We must be good examples for them. We must be able to tell them how they should behave in the church. The laws. The laws. Be with them, right? Be with them, all of you Christians sons and daughters in this church family. Yeah. Let us, Lord, have the courage to be able to somehow turn a conversation from whatever it is that they're talking about to a conversation about Jesus and how his goodness can bless a sensitive soul. Yeah. Yeah. Turn him from a bad direction into a good direction. Turn them from the darkness of light into a marvelous light. Give us that strength we need as brothers and sisters, Christian sons and daughters, adopted sons and daughters of Jesus Christ. All right. That we may not pass up an opportunity to tell someone about your goodness. And to invite them to church. To plant that seed so that you can do the water. Yes. The Lord. Yes. Yes. Be with us and guide us. Yes. It's our prayer. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
the woman that God decided that uh, Adam needed, the woman. Lord, we come right now just saying thank you, God. Lord, we come right now thanking you for your creation, dear God. Lord, come and ask you for forgiveness of sins, dear God, those alone and alone. Right now, dear God, we're going to lift up the woman. Yeah. Woman, Lord, we ask right now that you touch every woman, yeah, young right. adult woman, yeah. every little girl. Yeah. Right the ones now. that are dealing with poverty, we ask you to touch right touch now, God. Right the ones that are dealing with molestation, touch, touch right now. Touch right the now. ones that are dealing with abuse, touch right now. Touch Lord, we ask that you be in the midst of all these situations, dear God. Right those that are right. spoken and unspoken, dear God. Right Lord, in a world where we have to have so many shelters, right to shelter right the ones that are hurt, God, we ask you right now to let the women know we're not alone, dear God. Lord, we thank you, dear God, for your hedge of protection, dear God. And we call on you right now, Lord, to just be in the list. If there's a young woman out there today who feels like she's all alone, Lord, we ask you to have her look at the widow, dear God. The widows, dear God, we ask that we want them to know, God, that you covered them and you looked after them. Yes, Lord. Lord, I just thank you, dear God, that you look after the widows. Yes. Lord, looking at Elijah when he went in and talked to the, the widows, yes. when she wanted to just give up, dear God. Yes. He said, just, she said, well, all that I have yes. is a, a little bit. Yes. He said, just yes. make, make me some bread and give me a cup, and you will never go home. Yes. Lord, I thank you, dear God, for your promises, dear God. I thank you for sending those along the way, dear God, to help us to see our way and find our way. Lord, I thank you for using Adam to make woman, dear God. Lord, the women that are dealing with identity, Lord, I thank you, dear God. Lord, I thank you, the one who's dealing with social identity, gender identity. Touch right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now for the opportunity to pray. The privilege of prayer. Lord, I ask that you touch every woman with a hung down head, dear God. Lord, that you even touch down on the prostitute. We thank you, dear God, for the woman who's out there selling her body, Lord. You can help her. Lord, help us to be a voice to say, come on inside. Thank you, Lord. Lord, because you, you dealt with the, the prostitute in the Bible, dear God. You dealt with her, dear God. You walked she walked alongside you, dear God. Lord, touch the world. Let them know that God, you have not forsaken not one woman. Lord, we thank you, dear God, for the privilege of prayer. Lord, we ask that you go out and you touch the child, the one that was dealing with child abuse, dear God. The one who are dealing with children being beaten, dear God. Lord, the women that are running with their children, dear God, for safety, dear God. We ask that you just open their eyes and Lord, touch their hearts, dear God, that they don't have to run anymore. Lord, we thank you for the ones that are hungry. Lord, we thank you for the ones who are feeding their children and going to bed hungry, dear God. Touch right now, dear God. Lord, let them know that depression won't take over anymore, dear God. Lord, for every woman that's struggling to make it from day to day, Lord, we ask that you touch right now in the name of Jesus, dear God. For every woman who's dealing right now without her spouse, dear God, touch right now in the name of Jesus, right now, dear God. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. For every woman who's dealing with an abusive husband, touch right now, God, in the name of Jesus. With an abusive boyfriend, touch right now, dear God. Lord, let the women of Brady Emmanuel and the women of the body of believers intercede on behalf of the women of this world who are struggling just to make it as women, dear God. Lord, we thank you, dear God, for the opportunity and the privilege of prayer. Lord, thank you for making me a woman. Lord, I thank you right now for being able to bear the children, dear God. I thank you. Lord, let us know that our labor is not in vain as mothers, dear God. Sometimes it may seem hard, dear God, but we thank you for the struggles, dear God. We thank you for the opportunity to be able to open our eyes and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, right now, I ask if, if there's a woman out there who wants to just help, Lord, have her call the church, dear God. Have her just reach out, dear God, and you make her know she is not alone, dear God. Lord, we thank you, dear God. We thank you for the women, dear God. We thank you for walking inside beside the women, dear God. Lord, we thank you for not leaving the women out. Because even when you didn't call their names in the Bible, dear God, you said the one. Yeah. We want to talk about the women who are dealing with anemia, dear God. The ones that are dealing Lord, you, you have all you can touch. They say, I can you touch the hem of this garment, I shall be made home. Lord, I thank you. As a woman who dealt with blood issues, I thank you. Lord, for all the women who are dealing with anemia, touch. For all the women who are dealing with miscarriages with their head hung down, touch right now, dear God. For all the women who feel like I can't go on because I've had an abortion, touch right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now for making woman. Thank you, God, for making woman. God, we thank you for making woman. Thank you, God. Lord, we ask that any woman, young girl, Young adult with their head hung down and struck that's wondering, how can I make it? Look to the hills. Look to the hills for what's coming to your health because it's coming from the Lord and he's available. 
the mothers. Thank you for the grandmothers. Thank you for the daughters. We thank you, dear God. We thank you that we may be able to be the vessels to keep our families together, dear God. Lord, we thank you, dear God, for just using us, dear God. Thank you for seeing fit that you wanted to have a woman for that, dear God. We thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Women, if you're out there, young girls, if you're out there, you're not alone. You're not alone. Come out the darkness. Come out the darkness. Come out the darkness. God has something in store for you. Just call on his name. Ask him what you may do to be saved, dear God. Lord, the young women, you can make it. You can make it. In the name of Jesus, you can make it. We thank you. And we love you, dear God. We ask that you hear this petition, hear this prayer. Reach down from on high, dear God, and help us to lift another woman up. In the name of Jesus.
our fighters and first responders. Amen. 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 It is indeed a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Yes. All right. And so we go to the Lord in prayer. Yes. Father God, it is good we come, Lord, just to say thank you. Thank we you. thank you, Lord, and we praise you for being so good to us. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. That this is a great new day, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for protecting us as we went about our daily schedules. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for provision, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for peace in our life. And we thank you thank for you. Uh, your protection, Lord. And Father, as I lift up these groups to you, we yes, just Lord. ask that you would just continue to bless them. That's right now. First responders, those who yeah. go and attend to the needs yeah. of others, Lord, yeah. who just yeah. ask that they would just yeah. keep their hearts and pure, Lord, yeah. and do what they were asked to do, what yeah. they have taken a home to do, and that oh, is to yeah. serve the public, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And then, Father, we uh, lift up to you the firefighters yeah. who yeah. work tirelessly yeah. to yeah. put out fire, yeah. who work uh, tirelessly yeah. to do yeah. other yeah. events, yeah. Lord. We just ask and pray that you protect them, Lord, and they will stay safe, Lord, while they're doing their duties, Lord, and uh, protecting the people's homes from burning down, Lord. We just ask and pray that they would, you would just be with them, Lord, because we do know that there's a dangerous occupation, and they need your protection, Lord. And then, Father, we just lift up to you right now the police department. Yeah. We just ask and pray, Lord, that you would just trust the hearts of the men and women who serve. Let them, uh, let them uh, adhere to their oaths, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Let them not sway, Lord, to be evil and corrupt, Lord. Let them uh, also study your word. We know a lot of them work doing the hours of church, but that does not keep them from praying and reading their word. Father, we just ask that you adjust their hearts, Lord, and let our departments weed out the evil and wicked, corrupt individuals, Lord, and that they would be more loving and more caring, that they would indeed serve their community as they have taken their oath. And then, Father, we just ask and pray for our Saintsville Church yes, that Lord. just burned uh, on yesterday, Lord, and the yeah. firefighters were there working. We just pray for that church family, Lord. Yeah. Be with them. Lift their spirits up. Let them know that uh, even yeah. though that, that was a building, but that has nothing to do with the church, the church is in your hearts. Yeah. Father, we just ask all these things in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. 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 Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It is a blessing to be back in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. I am here tonight to pray for unity, unity in the church, unity uh, in the community, unity uh, all over this land and country. All right. Uh, the Bible does tell us, behold, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together right. in unity. Yeah. And that's what we want to do. We want to please the Lord. It's, it's all right to please Brother Keith. But if you ultimately want to get it right, we want to please the Lord yeah. in dwelling together in unity. Right. And we need to do that in love. Amen. The only way we're going to accomplish that is, is through love. Yeah. So let's go to the Lord for a word of prayer. Gracious Father, we come again thanking you for this another day. Thanking you, God, for another opportunity to call upon thy holy and righteous name, O God. We realize, O God, we can't do any of these things without you. So right now, we want to say thank you, O oh God, Amen. for allowing us another opportunity to, again, call upon your holy and righteous name. You're worthy of all of our praises. We ask for forgiveness of sins, O oh God, so that these things can be laid upon us, O oh God. We thank you again for another opportunity. Amen. Lord, realizing that without your love, we won't be able to come together, O oh God. Yeah. So we ask, O oh God, you just continue to pour your love out to us, O oh God. And then let us... Exemplify your love, Lord, that we can yes. put away anything that keeps us from coming together. Yes. Lord, we thank you, God, that you prayed for us once before, God. Yes. You prayed to the Father that we would be just like you and the Father, God. Yes. As you and the Father one, that we would be one just yes. like you and the Father. Yes. So, Lord, help us, oh God, here at Great Emmanuel Baptist Church. 
Bless us to be all that we can be for thee, O oh God. Yes. You said you gave some pastors, you gave some evangelists, some preachers and teachers to equip us yes. to be able to do the things that we need to do that here. Yes. That we can stay and remain yes. in unity, O oh God. Yes. So as you gave us, giving us a new pastor, O oh God, we're just praying that we get on board and follow his leadership as he follow you, O oh God. Bless us to be all that we can be, to be the church that you want us to be yeah. here on this corner, God. Yeah. Here on this hill. Yeah. Here in this community, yeah. God. Bless us to be the light in this community, yeah. God. A light in a dark world, God. Yeah. So we pray, oh God, for every member, every individual of great evangel, oh God, yeah. that we'll seek you, remain in you, oh God, and then just follow the leadership oh, that you yeah. put here at Great oh, Evangel. Oh, we thank you for those that labored before, oh God, the pastor that we have now. Yeah. Continue, oh God, to bless their families, oh God, in the yeah. mighty and special way. Bless his family in the mighty and special way that he can lead and lead out in unity, oh God. Yeah. We thank you for all those who are assembled here on tonight as we're trying to come together and pray, oh God, yeah. to, to make a change here in this community, oh God. Yeah. We're trying to make a change in this church, in this local community, yeah. but yet we're trying to make a change all over this land and country. Yeah. So we're asking, oh God, that you just continue to pour in our hearts and continue yeah. to let us open our hearts to receive what it is you have in store for us, yeah. that we can be what we need to be yeah. as we try to come together, oh God. Yeah. We want to make every effort, as it says in Scripture, we want to make every effort, oh God, to try to keep the unity of peace. Yeah. Oh so just give it what we stand to need of, oh God. Remove our strife. Remove all these remove uh, sins right. that may be holding us back remove from it. being all that we can be. Yeah. Lord, we thank you again for another opportunity, oh God. Yeah. We just realize, oh God, that the work that you did on Calvary, oh God, yeah. is all that we can remember, oh God, that's going to keep us going forward. Yeah. We thank you for dying on the cross, oh God. Thank you, Lord. We, won't, we don't want that to be in vain, oh God. Oh. We died on the cross for our sins, oh yeah. God. So we can remove these sins, oh God, yeah. and become the one, oh God, as you and the Father. Yeah. Again, bless every auxiliary here at Great Event. Yeah. Bless them as they make decisions, yeah. oh God. Yeah. Bless them to do it as one. Yeah. Bless every, every minister here at Great Emmanuel, oh God. As they make decisions, bless them to do it as one, oh God. And then bless us, oh God, as we're in the front, we're in the back, we're in the side. Bless us to be one. And we'll be careful to give you the praise. Yes. Lord, we love you. We, love you. we praise you. We pray. And we lift your holy and righteous name. Yes. Right now. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Amen. Amen. Right now, God, that you continue to strengthen their body. 
bodies, God. Continue to, God, I'll open up doors that even as they prepare to come to service on Sunday mornings, God. Lord, that you make the way. God, that you strengthen their limbs, God. Continue to give them the activity of their limbs and a reasonable portion of their health and strength. God, I continue to pray for their mindset, God. Let the mindset and the thoughts be stabilized, God. God, you give them a sound, sound mind. God, you said in your word that you, we should let this mind be in us that was also in Christ Jesus. And so, God, I'm praying the mind of Christ upon your people, God. Upon the elderly, we come binding up the, uh, dementia and Alzheimer's, God. And we bind it up and we cast it out. And, God, that they might be able to think clearly, God, to respond and react, God, in a way that would be pleasing unto you. God, we just continue to pray and intercede on those that, on behalf of those that can't even make it to church anymore, God. Those that are in the nursing home, God, in the convalescence home, God. Touch and heal their bodies, God. Put the right people in their path, God. And even God send us out that we might be able to go out and minister to them and share a word from on high, God. In the name of Jesus, those that are confined to their homes, God. Let the ministerial staff and the deacons go forth, God, to share, God, even in the Lord's Supper, God, just to give them a word of encouragement, God. We pray for our elders now, God. God, those that are yet not even able to come out and be in the midst of service sometime. But God, we're asking, Lord, that you encourage them and lift their heads. God, that you let them know that they are never alone, God. The Lord, you said you're our God and you'll never leave us nor forsake us. That God shall be with us always, God, even unto the ends of this earth. God, I thank you now for being with the elderly. I thank you now for covering and protecting. I thank you now for sharing and covering them, oh God. And God will just plead the blood of Jesus over their lives. And we're asking that you continue to make a way on their behalf, God. Not even be any hungry, God. Let provisions be made, God. Let the food be supplied, God, that they have need of. God, we just lift up the elderly on today. God, even in the midst of this heat, God, God, that none of them, God, suffer from hydrate, dehydration, and none of them pass out from heat strokes, but God, you cover them, and you continue to nourish their bodies. God, we just continue to give your name praise and give you glory, God, for all of those that are getting trusting and believing you, God. We're praying for the household of faith, the body of Christ, as we pray for the elders, God. Let them yet trust and believe in you. Trust and believe in you at all times. Yeah. And God, you're just going to continue to reverence and honor you for every good work. Yeah. For everything that you're doing in the lives of your people. God, even until the day of your coming, we'll continue to give your name praise and give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen.
whipped cream for strength and encouragement for Sister Taylor Hard. Yes, we pray, Father, that you would touch her by your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Help her to keep looking towards you and then to keep her faith and yes, trust in you. Yes, and, and, and help her to, to not let the things around her discourage her yes, or, 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 or disappoint her or, or cause her to have depression. Yes, Lord. But, but give her the strength, Father, to know your will and the strength to continue to do yes, your will. Then, Lord, I'll read you now a special prayer request for, yes, for the Saintsville Church of God in Christ, which is, which is my home church, and for the church of my mother, and then the church of my two sisters that, that, that was burned on yesterday. And we, we pray, Father, that you would be with
inviting someone to Christ. Uh, maybe you may be at home right now uh, and you haven't accepted Jesus as Savior. Maybe, maybe the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to your heart. Uh, you have one leg still in the world and one leg in the church. Yeah. You may happen to be that person on today. I just want to let you know that today is a good day to accept Jesus. Yeah. You don't have to wait on Sunday morning. Oh, yeah. You don't have to wait Monday or Tuesday. You can accept Jesus on today. Yeah. So with that being said, you can bow your heads and you can repeat this prayer after me. Yeah. Oh, gracious Father, Lord, I thank you for waking me up to see another day. Yeah. Lord, I ask you right now, Father, to come into my life, Father, and be my Savior. Lord. Yeah. Lord. I ask you, Father, Lord, to order every step that I take, Father, yeah. and then continuously, Lord, Lord, to just show me the way, Father. Yeah. Continue to shape and mold me, Father, to yeah. be the individual that you created me even before I was in my mother's womb, yeah, Lord. Lord. And Father God, we just ask you, Lord God, to just use me right now, Father. Yeah, Lord. Lord, show me, Lord, and, and allow me to use the spiritual gift, the spiritual gift that you have blessed me with, Father. Yeah, For these are the blessings I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Once again, we thank uh, all of our participants for coming up here and, and, and giving all that they have in prayer. Uh, we thank Reverend Jackson for coming up here and, and doing these prayer requests. We thank each of you who are present here on tonight. And we thank everyone for watching on via live stream. Uh, once again, uh, we thank you all. And we want to encourage you all to come worship with us on Sunday oh, yeah, morning. Yeah. Uh, come to the house of worship here at the Grady Manu Baptist Church. Uh, come join our Sunday school program from, 10, from 9 a.m. to 9.45. Yeah. Then our 10 a.m. worship service. Amen. Thank you and God bless you.